and um, put um, spices on the body so that the dead will not smell. So these people, this mother, they, they married the mother of James and another married the Magdalene and other women. They set out to go to the sepulchre, to the burial ground, to the burying place. I'll be calling it sepulchre because that is what I have in my own Bible. So they would have missed the miracle if they had waited till later in the day. They would not have been able to see the angel that was there, that saw them, I mean, that was waiting for them. The Lord knew they were going to come. And they did not disappoint God. And God did not disappoint them. But what happened was that they were on their way to, to rub um, 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 myrrh and frankincense and uh, all kind of perfume on a dead body. But guess what happened? Before they got there, they were having issues also. Ha, ha, we are only women. Women, eh? Who will help us roll this stone? Who will roll this stone away from, from, for us? And eh, maybe we will beg those people that are there to help us roll this stone so that we'll be able to reach him. And then, on their way, there was a, 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 an earthquake. An earthquake that just happened that angel rolled the stone. That the stone was rolled away from them. These were on their way in the morning while they were going very early. They had problems. They had issues. How are we going to do it? That problem you are having, that thing that seems too much for you, that seems is impossible, can it be done? If God needs to send angel, he will send angel to you in the name of Jesus. Brethren, they were, uh, uh, like I was telling us the order of events first. So there was a great earthquake. The stone was rolled away by an angel. And then the angel that rolled the stone sat on that stone for them to know that it is not the guys. Neither is it you, but I did it. Our God is able to solve every problem we are going through. Going on with the events, other of events, the grants that were supposed to, to, to take care of, 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 of the stone, to make sure, sure nobody rolled it away, they were frightened. They were frightened though. Let's look at the book of Psalm chapter 18, verse 45. Psalm 18, 45. Hallelujah. Forgive me. 18, verse 45. The Bible says, hallelujah, give me a second, I'm getting there. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. That stranger, those strangers in your body, those strangers in your life, those people that have been kept, that, that have been kept there by the devil to keep watch, to make sure you cannot, uh, you cannot do what you need to do. To make sure you will not get to that place of your, or, 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 uh, or, or, of your destiny. Today, the Lord will frighten them. As the angels frighten those people that were gods. In Jesus' name. Amen. So the angels spoke to the women. I'm trying to see the order at which things happened that day. The angels spoke to the women. What did he speak to them? Word of peace. Hey. Word of peace. Let's look at the book of Psalm chapter 29. I will read verses 4 to 7. Psalm 29, 4 to 7. The Bible says the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaketh the cedars. Yeah, the Lord breaketh the cedars of Lebanon. He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian, like a young unicorn. The voice of the Lord divided the flakes of fire. The voice of the Lord shaken the wilderness. The Lord shaken the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord made the eyes to come and discover the forest. And in, in, and in his temple, don't everyone speak of his glory. 
the Lord seated upon the floor. The voice of the Lord, when the word the Lord speak unto you, when the Lord speak unto your situation, when the Lord speak unto that thing that 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 that, that, that seems like it's impossible, there is always a turn around. When the Lord, when the angel of the Lord spoke to this woman, women, those people that were there, at first they were in sorrow. After a while they were in doubt. On the way they were like, there is an impossible situation. The boy, the, the, the angel spoke to them. Guess what? Peace came. Peace. Because the Bible said they rejoiced. Then the next thing is the good news. The good news. The good news. Mark 16, verse 16. He is risen. He is risen. That is what the, the angel told them. He is risen. And when we say he's risen, what do we say? He's risen indeed. Yes, he is risen. They were told to go testify of what they have seen. Just like we, as children of God, have today have been told to testify in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you and you will be my witness all around the world. You know, that is what he's saying. Then Jesus met them in the way. Yes, they had heard the angels told them. They had seen that he was not there, his reason. But Jesus did not let them get to his brethren without confirming unto them. Brethren, the Lord is able to confirm unto you that thing you are looking for. Then if you, if you seek his face, they, they obeyed, they, they believed the angels, and the Lord showed himself to them on the way. They worshipped him. Are you a worshipper, or are you just a Christian that does what to please? Are you a worshipper? Brethren, I want to tell you that part of worshipping is, uh, um, I mean, part of obedience is to, to, to believe and to worship God. Hallelujah. I want to say part of worshiping God is believing Him. We, 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 they, they, they went and told the disciples what they had seen. If you look at the book of John 21 to 5, they went and told the disciples there. Then Jesus was risen. Jesus was risen. What a body, what a, a with a body, great clothes could not hold down. With a body. Jesus was risen with a body that grave could not hold down. Uh -uh. He rose with a body of power. If we look at the book of John, chapter 20, from verses 23 to 30, I'm not going to read that please. Hallelujah. Then now our next thing is, what happens when there is resurrection? Because there's going to be resurrection in our lives. There's going to be resurrection in our homes. There's going to be resurrection in our bodies. So what happens? Because we saw the situation that happened right there. Those people woke up that morning, tired, angry, um, hurt, um, sorrowful. But by the end of the day, what happened in resurrection? Hope replaced hopelessness. Just like when they were going, they had no hope of how to bridge the, 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 the sepulchre. They had no, oh, no hope of how to, 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 to rob those perfumes they are taking on, on, on the, uh, in the body of Christ. But guess what? That when they got there, hopelessness was replaced with hope. Boldness replaced fear because they were afraid. The guards might not let us see him, and so on and so forth. But by the time they got there, and the stone was rolled away, and the angels were there, those that were, the, the, the arresters had been arrested. The arresters had been arrested. And those who were arrested before became the arresters. They now were bold enough to face, to, 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 to face the situation. Hallelujah. Health replaced sickness. Jesus that was dead was had come back to life. He came back to life with a body that, that no sickness can hold. Are you there today? Just today is the day of resurrection for you. Everything that is called sickness, everything that is called disease in your body, the Lord will deal with it today and turn it around for good and deliver you and set you free in the name of Jesus. I say in resurrection, the Deliverance replaced bondage. People, the, 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 Jesus Christ was tied. He was, they, they, they had 
wrapped him with the, the, the grave clothes. They have covered him, but he was delivered. He was delivered. Then hate, hate was replaced by love because those people that were going in hatred, now they were happy. Now they thank God that if, if the devil had known, he wouldn't have killed the Son of God. Hallelujah. Joy replaced sorrow. In the book of Psalm chapter 30, verse 5, the Bible says, let me go quickly there. Um, Psalm 30, verse 5. Hallelujah. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Where are my people? <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalm 30, verse 5. For his anger endured for a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The songwriter says, Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So today, because of resurrection, every sorrow in our lives receive joy in the name of Jesus. And again, in restoration, life is an replace death. Anytime we, we, anyone dies, even though that you are a child of God, we know that the, the solution, I mean, the, the, the destination is life eternal in Jesus' name. Victory replaced defeat. Brethren, I am trying to not stay so long but we all understand what I'm saying. That when the, that, 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 that time that Jesus Christ was killed, he, people thought he was defeated. People were laughing at him while he was on the cross, telling him if he saved others, why didn't he save himself? He could not help himself. But this person we are talking about, he rose up. He rose up with, not with the help of man, but with the help of God. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive forevermore. This is the basic Amen. of Christianity. If Jesus had no reason, what would we be saying? That, 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 how would we be saying, this is our God, is alive? How sweet it is to hear that Jesus is alive forever. We know those people, even Lazarus that died and was, was raised up from the dead, died again. But our Lord Jesus is alive. The one that is living, that will live forevermore. Hallelujah. This is the basis of Christianity. Because our God is risen. If we, if Christ had not risen, our faith would have been baseless. It would, it would have been in vain. But we rejoice in the Lord today because the Lord lives. We rejoice in the Lord today because He is coming again. He is coming again. If we look at the book of Acts, chapter. 1 from verses 8 to 11, it tells us that he's coming again. We should go and be his witness. Are you his witness? But can you, before you can even be a witness, you need to be a part of him. You need to be born again. Because what you don't know, you cannot witness. If you are not at a, at, at a scene, you cannot tell them you saw what happened. You will just tell me people said this. Then they can't call you as a witness. But are you? A, can you be a witness? Are you born again? Oh, uh, or young children, men, women, are you born again? Because you must be born again for you to be his witness. For all this that says happen and rest as resurrection to happen to you, you need to be a child of God. The God that we serve is a great God. And when you give your life to him, you will know there is a difference. Because what it what takes other people five years to do, he will make it happen to you in, in, in a month. He can turn around a, 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 your, your situation in two days. Brethren, please give your life to Jesus. Wherever you are watching me today, you can give your life to Jesus now because he is coming again. And why is he coming? Because he's coming to take his children home. If we look at, the, finally, if we look at the book of John, chapter 14, it says, do not let your heart be troubled. Let me go there so I won't be... You won't think I'm using my word because I will be paraphrased. paraphrased. John chapter 14, he says, let not, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. 
If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you to myself. Are you willing to be received to him? He said he's coming back. Just as we saw him go, he's coming back. Just on the sky, in rapture. Are you rapturable right now, even if you are born again? Do you think if Christ comes, you, are, you, you, you will be able to go with him? It is very, very important for us to know that we have to be born again. If you are not born again, this is another chance for you. You can just speak to God right now and tell God, Father, accept me. And if you are born again, you are not sure of rapture. Ask God to help you to be sure so that you will not miss it. In the name of Jesus, let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you. As many that have decided for Christ today, Father, let them, Father, accept them unto yourself in Jesus' name. And let them serve you for the rest of their lives in Jesus' name. And Father, we pray that Lord, none of us, none of us listening to, that have listened to this message, we miss heaven in Jesus' name. All it takes, Father, make us rapturable. Let us be able to reign with you when the trumpet will sound in the name of Jesus. We know you are coming again. If you come before we meet again next week, we pray, Father, that you will not leave any of us behind in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. For the sake of those that are watching on the feed, on YouTube, Facebook, my name is Pastor Lara Obiwumi and this is the Redeemed Christian Church of God, City of Mercy, Williamstown, New Jersey. If you live around us and um, you have no home church, come and worship with us. Jesus answers prayers on upon this mountain and the Lord is here. God bless you as you do so. If you have any question or any issue you need counseling, you can call Pastor Lara of the Woman, 732-766-0068. And God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah.